As the influx of patient hospitalizations continue to increase due to the coronavirus, many with other life-threatening conditions still have to seek treatment. Now, in the age of COVID-19, one medical tech company has developed a device to help doctors monitor patients and even diagnose them from home. Uh, joining us now with the details of this new device is Chairman and CEO of Biotricity, Wakas El Sadiq. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about telemedicine. It's it's using video messaging for doctor consultations. It's been utilized during this pandemic uh, to uh, patients out of hospitals to help them. Your device will take that a step further. Tell us a little bit about what this does and how it's revolutionizing the industry. Absolutely. So, you know, everybody uh, is familiar with cardiac disease and it's the number one killer in the United States. We've got about 2,200 people that die every day. Um, so they don't have the luxury of not going and seeing their doctor during this uh, epidemic. And what our device does is it's an intelligent monitor. So it's actively monitoring the patient. And if there's an anomaly that occurs, it can actually alert the doctor and then he can determine, you know, is it an emergency situation? Should the patient go into the hospital? So at that point, you can really focus on social distancing, but making sure that the quality of care and, and emergency situations can still be handled. When you mentioned one of the conditions that the device is able to monitor, talk a little bit more about what other conditions it can monitor and where are you looking to distribute the device? Absolutely. So we are looking at all types of arrhythmias, uh, which are basically electrical issues with the heart. Um, there are also some plumbing issues that we're looking at. The other thing that the device is uh, uh, being used for and, and can be used for is that COVID-19 patients are using a variety of different drugs. Some of these drugs have side effects that can cause uh, a long QT, which can lead to sudden death. And so that's another thing that our device can be uh, utilized for in terms of monitoring COVID-19 patients while they're self-isolating. Uh, and in terms of the device right now, it's in across 14 states. Uh, we've got about 200 uh, to 300 different centers that are using our device. And uh, you know, right now, obviously, uh, with, with this epidemic going on, uh, there's a lot of focus and a lot of interest in, in using the product. Well, and how exactly are you getting your device out there? Is there any work being done with the administration? We're not working directly with the administration yet. Um, we've uh, touched base with the FCC because they're looking at telehealth and they've rolled out that new program uh, focusing on healthcare providers. So we're working with our healthcare providers um, and, and our customers. They're linking us to other customers. Um, we've also enabled uh, at Biotricity ourselves that we can ship out product directly uh, if a doctor calls us and, and we can get it to the patient so that there's less handling of the product. Uh, we ourselves are operating uh, business as usual. Obviously, we've got limited staff that are that are coming into the office and, and most people are working uh, from home, but we are still able to uh, ship uh, units wherever they need to go. Well, and because of the high influx of, of patients at hospitals around the nation are seeing, what are some of the benefits for doctors and patients that are using your device? Uh, excellent question. So there's multifold. So one aspect is obviously the big issue with this epidemic is how do we uh, make sure that we have more beds and the system doesn't get overwhelmed. So all cardiac patients that are in hospitals can be discharged with our device and, and self-isolate at home so that you can free that bed up in case there's somebody that, that has a, 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 a serious COVID um, a reaction and they need, they need that bed. So you can free up beds. The other thing is when it comes to cardiac patients, who don't have the luxury of postponing uh, their um, their visit or they're feeling you know chest pain, they need to go in and see a physician. With our device, you can have a televisit, and you know traditional televisit is just a video conference. So having a video call is not enough if you don't understand what is actually going on with the patient's heart. Uh, it's too serious of a condition to tell them to stay at home and not go to the ER. And so in this case, you can give them the device, say, stay at home. I'm monitoring you. If there's an emergency, call us. We'll have a televisit. You can look at the data and then determine. Uh, if, if action is necessary. So essentially, you're able to take the highest risk population right now, keep them self-isolated, and only bring them in when you are for sure that they actually need to go to the hospital, they need to take on that risk of potentially uh, getting COVID-19. All right, very interesting stuff. And thank you so much for the work you're doing and for joining us today, Chairman and CEO of Biotricity, Wakas El Sadiq, talking about uh, his company and their work on the front lines of telemedicine during this pandemic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.